Saudi Arabia is planning to make a 170 km long modern city which will neither have roads nor any vehicles. This is going to be the first and the biggest straight line city in the world. And it is the Saudi king and crown prince's dream to complete it before 2030. Welcome back again to our videos. Viewers, the Saudi royal family is among the richest families in the world. According to the American business magazine Forbes and Wikipedia Saudi royal family's net worth is about $1.4 trillion. In local currency, it is 1,000 Kara rupees. Even if, still now you're finding it difficult to understand let's make it easy for you. Even if you accumulate the wealth of Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg and other top 17 billionaires then also they would not compare with this royal family's net worth. Oil contributed the most to the wealth of Saudi Arabia's royal family. Before discovering oil, Saudi Arabia was only dependent on religious tourism. But with the discovery of oil in 1938 the entire Saudi kingdom got transformed. Today Saudi Arabia is the second most oil producer after America. It produces more than 10 million barrels per day and sells them to 85 countries. Sadly this is not going to continue for long. According to a study at Stanford University, researchers have found solid evidence that the crude oil we are using for the past 150 years is about to run out. That is the oil resources beneath the ground are about to exhaust. In the research, it was assumed that by 2052 crude oil will get exhausted or its quantity will remain so less that it wouldn't be profitable to extract it. So after 2052 how the Saudi kingdom will survive? Well, they will survive, but how they will keep up with this lavish lifestyle? Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman has already started the process of freeing Saudi Arabia from the oil dependency. Like Dubai, Saudi Arabia is promoting Western tourism and the city which is being built for that will be more advanced than Dubai. This city will be very much different from other cities of the world unlike other cities which spreads outwards from the center this city will be in a straight line and the two are 170 kilometers long line. This line city which is named Neom is the first step toward diversifying the economy of Saudi Arabia. Mohammed bin Salman son of Saudi King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saad who is unofficially running the country and his master plan includes freeing Saudi Arabia from oil dependency. Neom is being constructed in the Tabuk province of Saudi Arabia, where the government has allotted a special zone for this new city. It will be bordering the Gulf of Aqaba on one side and the Red Sea on the other. Whereas from its coast Egyptian city Sharam al-Sheikh is only 5 kilometers away, which is already a tourist hotspot. Both the leaders of the country have plans to connect Neom and Sharam al-Sheikh with the bridge. This will not only help both the countries with tourism and with this land connection, they will be able to bypass Israel. The map proposed by the Saudi Arabia government is really interesting. A line city has numerous benefits and will serve as a role model for taking the world to the next level. This city will have three layers. On the ground level, there would be no road and no vehicles. Rather it will be enriched with nature and pedestrians would take a stroll. The second layer termed the service layer, will contain all the shops, offices and malls. This level will contain roads and vehicles. The third level of neon will be the backbone of this city because here ultra high speed transport system will be made, which will transport people from one part of this 120 km city to the other in just 20 minutes. Neom will be completely different from the other cities of the world. 
because the entire city, its electrical system, transport system, industries everything will run on renewable energy. That is the oil which is going to exhaust by 2052, for Neon Ital and by 2030 only. The city will pass through the coastline of the Red Sea but a majority of its portion will pass through 4,500 feet high mountains. And Saudi government has named this portion TROJENA no mountain will be damaged during construction instead utilizing the beauty of this natural landscape it will be further developed. Where a vertical village, outdoor ski resort, mountain-to-mountain -mountain transport system, health center and luxury entertainment centers will be made. The geographic location of this line city is chosen in such a way that the world's 40% population can reach here in less than four hours. And Saudi Crown Prince's target is to attract a population of 1 billion by 2052. And obviously, such an ambitious project will have a colossal cost. Saudi government has allocated a budget of $500 billion for the NEON project, which is approximately 375 billion rupees. The good thing is the work is already started. Still now, lavish royal palaces and suites have been constructed on 1,000 acre area. Built on private beaches, Surrounded by lush green lawns amid the desert it is a place for relaxation for the royals of the Saudi Kingdom, which contains a private golf club and two private islands. The whole area is given the name of Neon Palace, which contains two helipads too. Let's again head towards the project. A regional airport is built for the Neon City, which is fully operational from 2019. But at the moment, it is used as a commute for the construction team and other staff from the Saudi capital Riyadh to Neon. Although Saudi rulers are very serious about this project they also have to face a lot of challenges. They are claiming that Neon will run on 100% renewable energy. So the question is how the freshwater will be collected which is now being filtered from the seawater with the help of fossil fuel. Because we all know that there is no freshwater river in Saudi Arabia. How they are going to operate electric appliances with 100% renewable energy for 1 billion people. And how they will be able to develop high-speed trains running underground utilizing green energy. The answer to these questions is very simple a new method will be developed to generate fresh water in Neon. A very big globe made of glass is being prepared that will be filled with seawater. With the help of solar mirrors, the glass globes will be heated and with the help of evaporation and distillation, the pure water will be extracted through pipes. The CEO of the Neon Water Sector believes that with this technique every day 50 million liters of fresh water can be produced. With the present-day technologies of reverse osmosis and desalination, the cost is $1 per 1,000 liters. But with a solar dome cost will drop down to 62%, that is it'll only cost 38 cents, now let's talk about the energy sector. To meet the electricity demands of this future mega city 100% renewable source will be used. According to Saudi Arabia's location, it mostly remains warm and wind conditions remain better in hot regions. So with the help of wind turbines and solar panels, such plants will be set up which will convert the water and air into green ammonia through the electrochemical cells which is a very effective fuel. When normal fuel is burned it produces gases that contribute to pollution. But green ammonia or green hydrogen is produced with 100% renewable energy therefore no toxic gases are produced when it is burned. Like fossil fuel it is easy to transport or store. 
green ammonia. Now coming back to the most important question i.e. the ultra high speed train which is going to be first used in NEON practically. These high speed trains will travel at the speed of 482 km per hour and will reach from one end of the line city to the another within 20 minutes. The heavy magnets attached to the tracks will push or stop the train with the help of green electricity. Also, although the wheels will start rolling in the beginning but after gaining a certain speed, the wheels will get 4 inches above the ground. And it'll float due to the magnetic force and run faster with the same power consumption. And it is the reason the city is designed in a straight line so that the ultra-high speed train doesn't have to slow down due to turns. Many experts believe it is not possible to build this level of future city and the technologies used in it by 2030. But seeing the vision of the NEON project and the hard work that is being done on it one thing is certain, the Saudi Kingdom is quite serious about its future and is trying its best to promote Western tourism. Hope you will like and share this our video. My heartfelt appreciation for your loving comments. We'll meet you in another amazing video.